So what we have here is we have this three-dimensional object composed of these different parts and each part is has the same density in other words it's homogeneous throughout the thing throughout the object what we need to do is we need to find its centroid and i've got the steps that we're going to go through all written out down in the description and if you find this video helpful hit that like button and please subscribe So the first thing we want to do is we want to establish our coordinate system. Now it's in this problem, it's already set up for us. So we don't need to worry about that part. But the next part is we want to split this object up into its composite parts. Or in other words, we want to split it into parts that we already know the centroid of easily. And so it's kind of already broken up for us. Um, we have this right triangle prism here and this rectangular prism here and this uh, right triangle prism here. And we instinctively know, or not instinctively, but we know the where the centroid lies on each of those. For the rectangular prism, it's going to be um, half its width in the middle of its width, in the middle of its depth, and in the middle of its height. For these two right triangle prisms, it is going to be one third away along its base, away from the right um, angle corner, and similarly one third along its height, away from its right angle corner. And then because it is symmetrical when cut orthogonal to the x axis, it is going, the centroid in the x direction is going to lie just in the middle of that width. And that's and you kind of instinctively understand at least that part of it usually. But so knowing that we're gonna um, label these, we're gonna label this block A and this one B and this one C. And from there, we're going to um, find the coordinates of the centroids of A, B, and C. And we're gonna list them out here. And finding the coordinates of that is, um, those coordinates are x tilde, y tilde, and z tilde, which are the x, y, and z tilde coordinates respectively for each individual centroid. And then x bar, y bar, and z bar are the x, y, and z coordinates of the entire object. And then finally, after we find the coordinates of each centroid, we are going to find the volume of each object. And so, that's what V is in all of these equations. So starting out with A, its centroid is going to be at the point in the X direction, it's going to be one third way along this, the base and the base is 1.5 meters uh, long. So one third of 1.5 is 0.5. But then you also have the thickness of B uh, in addition to it, so its x-coordinate of its centroid is going to be one, one meter away from the origin. And then in the y direction, it's just since it's symmetrical, um, uh, orthogonally to the y-axis, it's just gonna be in the middle. So its centroid coordinate in the y direction is 0 0.25. And then in the z direction, it's once again one third away along the height here, and it's 1.8 meters tall. So a third of 1.8 is 0 0.6. So there's the centroid of A. Now the centroid of B is going to be half, in the x direction, it's gonna be half its width, or half its depth, whatever you wanna call it, 0.2 five and then half of its um, width in the y direction is it's two meters this way plus it's got this 0.5 meters that's hidden kind of behind a so it's 2.5 so half of 2.5 is 1.25 and then in the z direction once again it's half of its height so half of 1.8 is 0.9 and then finally for C, its centroid 
in the x direction is half of its width, so 0 0.25. And then in the y direction, one third way along its base, its base is 1.5 meters, so 0.5 this way, plus the, um, the width of B, which is 2.5, so 2.5 plus 1.5 or 2.5 plus 0.5 is 3. And then one third way along its height, which is the same as A, it's 0 0.6. So there's the coordinates of the centroids of each um, component part of our object. So this is X tilde, Y tilde, and Z tilde. And we will now find the volume of each one of them and the volume of A is going to be the area of this triangle, one half the base times the height, and multiplied by the width. So that'll be one half times 1.5 times by 1.8 times by 0.5. And the volume for that comes out to be 0 0.675 cubic meters. For B, it's going to be 0.5 times by 2.5 times by 1.8, and that comes out to be 2.25 cubic meters. And C, you'll notice, has the same volume as A because it's got the same dimension, so it's also going to have a volume of 0 0.675 cubic meters. So now that we have all of this information, we can plug it into each one of these equations. So starting with x bar, it is going to equal the sum of all the x coordinates multiplied by their respective volumes. So for this one, it's going to be one times by 0 0.675 plus 0 0.25 multiplied by 2.25 plus 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.675. And then all of that divided by the sum of the volumes. So all of these added together, so you have 0 0.675 plus 0. 675 plus 2.25. And plugging that into your calculator, you end up getting the X bar equals 0 0.391 meters. So the centroid of the entire object, the X coordinate of it is 0 0.391 meters this way, away from the origin, along the x-axis. So the process for finding y-bar and z-bar are very similar, so I'm not gonna go through each one of those um, separately, but x or y-bar is 1.39 meters, and z-bar is, we're gonna write it over here, Z bar equals 0 0.788 meters. So those are the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the centroid of the entire object. And so there's a pretty good example problem where the 3D object is homogeneous, or in other words, has the same density same density throughout the entire object. If you want a example problem video where the components of the object are not all the same density, you can click on this video link and that'll take you to another example problem video. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments and I'll reply to them. I also appreciate the feedback. Um, I've also got my 
website up and going, gostudentengineering.com. It's got all these videos up on there, plus a few um, extra stuff written out that I'm sure you'll find helpful. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer, Student Engineering. My goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.